Hello everybody, this is the Structures Guy, and today we're talking about the Salt Canal Bridge. Located close to the town of La Rovière in Belgium, 50 kilometers south of Brussels, the bridge can carry up to 13-1500 metric tons barges over the valley naturally eroded by the Thiria River and a man-made crossroads of RN55 and RN535 roads. The dimensions of the structure are exceptional and it has an innovative design that required unusual architectural studies so that it would blend perfectly into the environment. Construction started in 1998 and the canal was completed in 2002. The project costed about 248 million euros. The bridge has a post-tension concrete deck. The cross section of the deck shows that it has two inclined sidewalls that support the fish belly transverse girders that are 4.5 meters apart. Those fish shaped girders carry the bottom plate and the loading of 4.2 meters of water. The average thickness of the bottom slab is 40 centimeters but it increases thickness to 60 meters at the piers. The deck is 46 meters wide and 7.1 meters deep. The 498 meter long deck comprises of 13 spans that are 36 meters apart and two 15 meter cantilever end spans. The canal is supported on 28 3 meter diameter circular columns that are 36 meters apart longitudinally and 34.5 meters apart transversally. The columns are supported on 10 meter square foundation supported on 9 1.5 meter diameter piles that that are 10 to 20 meters long. The South Canal Viaduct supports 80,000 tons of water, eight times more than the weight carried by a typical road bridge. Pedestrians can walk along the six meter wide surface roads on either sides of the canal. The structure needed to be designed to always withstand the presence of water, which is why it is composed of high strength materials. Also, the settlement of the support piles needed to be compatible with the magnitude of the loads from the structure, with each column supporting maximum loads of 6,000 tons. Due to a special purpose, the canal bridge must satisfy a few requirements, such as having thick and waterproof walls. Designers achieve this by using reinforced concrete combined with pre-stressed concrete. A longitudinal and transverse pre-stressing cable system was used to produce two-directional compression in the concrete in all parts of the structure in contact with water, and thus provide perfect waterproofing. Other measures are taken to make the bridge waterproof, such as minimizing the number of expansion joints and the use of dense concrete. Another specific feature is that the canal viaduct is supported on a limited number of columns to satisfy that the aesthetic and the technical criteria. Using a limited number of columns make the structure very transparent with its environment. Although this bridge appears simple, there were many design and construction considerations that make this project a challenging one. Water bridges are especially common in Europe as they offer a great solution for barges and ships to convey water courses across gaps such as valleys or ravines. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. See you next time!